Today and tomorrow, 150 students will participate in an OSCE adapted for social work developed by the Toronto team of Marion Bogo, Ellen Katz, and Carmen Logie at the Factor Inwintash Faculty of Social Work, University of Toronto. Students arrive at the school where the OSCE is held in faculty offices or classrooms set up with an interviewing area. Students are met by a member of the instructor's team who greets them and reviews the OSCE procedure with them. Five minutes prior to the start of the OSCE, students proceed to sit outside the designated room for their simulated interview. The Raider greets the student and gives the student a half-page written description of the case scenario. A bell is rung to alert students to read the scenario. Students are given two to three minutes to read it. A bell or buzzer is sounded that alerts students and raiders that the OSCE will begin. The student conducts the first 15 minutes of a 60-minute interview. Sometimes I feel like I should care more. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just feel so tired all the time. Tell me a little bit more about that. I don't know, I just want to sleep. I have to do everything at home. I care for Nora and she needs me. And I have to hold her, feed her, diapers, just everything. Sounds like you're exhausted. You have a right to be. It's a lot of work. What are your needs right now? I need help with everything. I don't know what to do. I'm just by myself. Ivan works all day, all night, and it's just me doing everything. Mm -hmm. Do you have any support? Well, my mom came for a month to help out, but I mean, she can't stay long. She had to go back. Go back where and why couldn't she stay long? We'll go back to China. I mean, I'm trying to get her and my dad to come and stay here. But like, it's so, it's so hard. It's so frustrating. I call immigration. I, I 
sent them letters and nothing. And that's just another thing that I need to take care of. And I don't have time. I'm just, it's just so tiring. Well, you have a right to be tired. It does sound tiring. We do advocacy here for immigration. And we can probably help your mom to come back here. Like, well, what do you mean? Well, we here at this agency, we have the opportunity to call and advocate on behalf of you, saying that you need support. And it would be good if she comes back here. Well, yeah, I just want my mom to be here to help mm -hmm. out. I think it's a little bit more complicated than that, but I could definitely chat with my supervisor on how we can help you. But I've called and I've sent letters and they don't get back to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the agency has a way of dealing with that. And I've heard really good success stories about that. Is that something that you'd be interested in? Well, yeah, because I just want my mom to be here and help out. I don't know. I mean, when she was here, she helped with everything. Mm -hmm. Like, we would go out to the market, we would go and get some groceries, and we'll both cook, or sometimes she'll cook. Um, and we took turn, but, like, I had someone there to help me. Mm -hmm. And, like, I finally had some time for myself. Um, like, now, like, there's times when I feel like I just want to leave Nora and just go out and have, have some time for myself. I, I, don't, I, I don't even know, but it's just too much sometimes. So, sorry, just to clarify, you think that you want to go out and leave Nora at home? I think about it. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, when she's crying and it doesn't stop and I pick her up and, and, or I feed her and, and like, noth nothing works. And I, I can't sleep. And so sometimes I think about, you know, what if I just, like, go. If I just go out the door and, and just have a little bit of time just to breathe. And well, we need to get you support because I don't think that would be helpful for you or Nora. And I know that you're frustrated, but I hope it, uh, that doesn't get to that point. Well, it's not like I, I want to, mm -hmm. but sometimes it, like, that's what I think about because mm -hmm. I just don't know what else to do. We're going to help you get your mom over here because you definitely need that and maybe connect you with some resources in the community in the meantime. I know that there's a program where a social worker can come to your house just even for two hours to provide you with respite. But I don't want a social worker. I want my mom to come and help. A bell or buzzer rings to alert participants that the interview is over. The actor comes out of character and provides brief feedback to the student, followed by feedback from the rater, to a maximum of five minutes in total. This step is elective, based on whether there will be other opportunities for debriefing, for example, in class or with the course instructor. All right, uh, let's stop for some feedback at this point, and I'd like to introduce the two of you so that we can get started with the feedback. Roxanne, this is Barbara. Barbara, Roxanne. And I'm wondering, Barbara, if you'd like to give Roxanne some feedback about what it was like to be the client in this interview. Mm -hmm. um, well, as a client, I felt like you were really listening to what I had to say. Um, you appeared to have genuine concern about uh, what I was feeling or what I was thinking about. Um, so when you're asking questions and I was talking about how 
tired and overwhelmed I was um, and just thinking about my home situation, you provide a space for me to be able to reflect on that. Um, and that made me feel comfortable with sharing more with you. Um, and you were asking about resources uh, and then providing some more information. Uh, I, I felt at times a bit frustrated because I just wanted my mom to come and I wasn't too sure about what you meant about advocating um, and that made me feel even more frustrated with uh, what I've done in the past uh, with contacting immigration services and, and them not being responsive to me. Um, and so that made me feel uh, a bit frustrated. All right. Um, I, I agree with that in, in the sense of my observations, Roxanne, of how you responded to Barbara. And I felt that you really followed her very well. I noticed you picked up really well on uh, her wish to leave uh, the apartment and leave Nora behind. And I thought it was terrific. Um, I had a sense at times that um, the client needed some kind of validation of how much she missed her mom. Mm -hmm. And for you to be able to say that, I, I wonder what that would have elicited in the client. I thought you followed her in the sense of resources, following how normal it is for new moms to be tired, uh, how she had a right to be tired. I noticed your body language was very closed and I noticed you following the client at the beginning and then I noticed when the client relaxed that you didn't necessarily relax and I was wondering um, if there was some anxiety for you. And I'm kind of curious to hear what the experience was like for you and what your thoughts are about the feedback that we're giving you. Okay, yes, I was, um, I'm still new to this, so there was a lot of anxiety. And um, also too, I sensed your frustration and I wanted to validate you, but I'm not uh, a mother, so I was trying to think and put myself in that position um, and felt empathy uh, towards you. Um, but it, I was still, I was still like, had some anxiety. Um, and I think that I, um, I guess um, when you were talking about the immigration advocating, I know that our agency does that, but I wasn't sure, or the agencies do that, but I wasn't sure exactly what they did. So I, I wanted to expand on that, but I didn't have enough information to, to give more feedback on that. So I just repeated the same thing. I need to look into that. So it sounds like you were, as a new student, struggling appropriately yeah. with, with where students are and yeah. it's a combination of, of practice and knowing what the resources are. Yeah, I was aware of them, but I didn't know the details of them, so that's something that I need to work on. Upon completion of the interview and receiving feedback from the actor and the raider, students proceed to a computer lab. There is a computer for each student with the reflection questions and space to respond already loaded on each computer. Students have 25 minutes to write their responses to the reflection questions. Students print one copy of their reflective responses, placing the document in a box outside the exam raider's room. This concludes the students' OSCE Adapted for Social Work.